Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be testing MySQL. What you can see on my screen is port 33, uh, 3306. So obviously if you're not familiar with SQL, MySQL, whatever, it's a database server. So we're gonna see if this machine is susceptible to any vulnerabilities and exploits, which we know it is because it's a Metasploitable 2, which is, you know, vulnerable all on all in itself, right? So if you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're returning, welcome back and let's have some fun. All right. So first things first, we always run a scan and we want to go ahead and test just that one port and see if it works. And if it does, we're good. Right? So we can see that it's running MySQL, MySQL 5.0.5 or 51A. So now I left open Metasploitable so we don't have to do all that stuff. So what we can do now is search for any kind of MySQL. So let's go ahead and just search in here and we're gonna do search for, uh, let's do scanner and uh, MS SQL, okay? Uh, MySQL, oh my God. Okay, <clears throat> so we have some, uh, some stuff here that we can utilize, right? So what we're gonna do is we're go we are going to utilize uh, do, do, do. It should be a version. Yep. So right here, use number six. So let's go ahead and just test that out, right? So let's use six for now. I know it's a little big. And you guys can see, right? I'm sure you guys can see. I know my big head's in the way on the top right. But, all right. So what we're going to do here is test uh, and put the R host in. So let's go ahead and set R host to mine is 200.5. And let's just go ahead and run this. This will be the first test that we can do and we can check and see if this thing's running. All right, so we can see that it's running. We see the scan is complete, so we should be good there. So now what we can do is, let me see something. Show info really quick. I wanna see something really quick. So we can see MySQL server enumeration, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is all good. So now what we're gonna do and see if the service is actually running. These are just different ways to check. So now, since we are here, we can do service dash port P3306. And did I type something wrong? Oh, I, I missed the S, sorry. Services. So services, that's really strange. No database connect, what? That's interesting, hold on. Let's, let's clear this out. Let's go ahead and just run this again. It is running. I just wanted to make sure it didn't lose connection because if it lost connection, then we'll be screwed. All right, so then there, there, there's no worries there. So let's go ahead and now we're gonna go ahead and use uh, my, I think it's before I even, let's just go back. Now let's do search, S-E-A-R search. And we're gonna do my SQL underscore login, I believe it is. Perfect, so we're gonna use zero. And well, let's just go ahead and do a quick show options. And we can see here a whole boatload of options. So let's go ahead, do, 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 do. Uh, all right, so we need to set up a password file and let's just go ahead and set that. And I think we should be good. What is the R host? Oh, we're setting R host, okay. So let's go ahead and first set R host, which is 200.5 in my case. And the next one we have to do is we have to set the, let me, let me go find that before, uh, let's go, I wanna go ahead and locate. And what we're gonna do is locate the, I think it's Unix underscore user dot txt, if I remember, or is it users? Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do is utilize this. So we can copy this path, right? So let's copy this path, copy. And we're gonna go ahead and utilize this for the password file. Okay, so let's go ahead and set password file. Uh, password. Oh man. Is it? Password is the, the let me see something. Uh, 
just sorry. I'm just trying to. You know, I think it's. I want to do it for the. Uh, isn't there like a user password? Am I missing something? Right here. Username, password. Okay. So let's do that. Username. Uh, user password. Is it like. User. What is going on here? Is it like just username? Oh, I think because I think because of the uh, sorry. So let me sorry guys. Let me. Uh, it's getting late here. So set user pass, and then let's go ahead and paste that there. There we go. All right. Let me go ahead and show options now. Let me see if I can make this a little smaller. Yeah. There we go. That's a lot better. It was just so big and it was cl clustered. So cluttered. So that's good. So everything is good here. So now what we can do is run this. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Okay. And we got a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see, it ran a whole bunch of users, but let's see if we have any successes. Let's go all the way back up and because all of these have failed, right? You can see all these logins failed and see if there's anything green. Oh, there we go. All right. So we did get a green here. So we got a green as root. All right, so pretty much the only thing that we got here is root. So now the last big test we can do is actually test it, right? So let's come back here. Let's do a control L. So now what we're going to do is try to log in with my, my SQL. And the user is going to be root because that's what we just found, right? And then the host name, in my case, is going to be 200.5 and then dash P and password, I think, uh, was it password or, or was it nothing? Okay, there was, they didn't need one. All right, so now what we can do is just do show databases. Okay, so we can see the databases here and pretty much we were able to get into this machine now, right? We were able to get in, this is pretty much, that's it. This is pretty much concludes the video. And then you can go ahead and navigate around the databases and do all that good stuff, but I'll leave that up to you. And yeah, so that's pretty much concludes how to find information about my SQL, exploit it and enumerate it and all that good stuff. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and share and make sure you you know check out the rest of the playlist. And if you have any recommendations, I keep forgetting to say this, but if you have any recommendations on videos that you would like to see with Metasploitable, or whatever, just put them in the comments and uh, I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. All right guys, take care and have a good one.